Hello and welcome to 6240 Gentry Wood Drive. My name is Sean Bergman with the Murray Group Dot Biz and Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate, bringing you another exciting video tour. Here we've got a four bedroom, three bathroom, on a partial basement home. You've got two car garage, full fenced in backyard, and a backyard that looks like an absolute paradise. We've got a full pond back there with working waterfall, lots of mature tree for shade and privacy, full fenced in yard, this place has it all. Over 2,500 square foot of living space, not including the basement that's unfinished, it is ready to go for you. Now, walking around, you can see the side yard here, front yard, absolutely huge. You do see the fenced in yard here, as I mentioned before. You've got space on this side as well as you go around the yard that give you access to the backyard as well. Just taking a look at some of these mature trees we talked about before at the beginning of the video here. You can see them towering up over the house and back behind. Absolutely gorgeous back there. Cannot wait to get you to the backyard. Let's start working our way back there now. So we come around the side of the house here. As you see, we do have an entrance here to the backyard. We're gonna go back there and I'm gonna meet you back there in a moment to uh, give you the tour there. Okay, we've made our way to the backyard here uh, through that side fence entrance as I told you. And we're just gonna kinda, I walked my way over and up to the deck. So we're going to just step back here and just kinda soak this backyard in for a moment. As I mentioned before, full story shed here off to the side so no stinky lawnmowers in the house. Full privacy fence all the way around the backyard. Mature trees all the way through. Now you're talking, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon, uh, darn near high noon, sun blaring, and you can see how much shade we have back here. Uh, it is absolutely gorgeous back here as far as that goes. Privacy wise, you do have a full deck. Privacy lattice off to the side, so if you wanted to set up a hot tub here, you would have privacy. Railed all the way around. If you're taking a look at this deck more than anything, it probably just needs a good pressure washing. It might need a coat of stain on it, but in general, I think a good pressure washing would get this thing absolutely clean. Now, I talked to you a little bit up front about the pond. And right here's a little bit of area. I do apologize for the noise. We do have a neighbor mowing right now. Um, here is the pond. See, it does have a working waterfall coming off of it. Full-size pond set up for koi. Just a nice little beautiful addition back here. It does also have a fire pit as well and some firewood already stored up for whoever wants to use it. Just zoom back out again so we can take in this backyard. Now I'm gonna walk out into the backyard so you can get a, get a better feel of the back of the house and the size of the deck. Get you another look at the storage building there. And that is a huge shed. I mean, most sheds that you see are those little four by sixes, six by eight sheds. This thing looks to be about 10 by 12. Um, it is a massive shed for sure. Let me turn here slowly so we can get in the focus. And here we go with the back of the house. Double doors you'll see when we get into the living room, leading you right back out onto your own private deck. Absolutely stunning back here. Private, quiet, plenty of shade, gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna meet you back in through the front door of the house and then we're gonna take a tour of the house. We'll see you inside. Okay, so we've made our way into the front door. We do have two stories inside, plus we do have an unfinished basement down. Here's the steps that are gonna take us up. It does have a semi-circular floor plan here. It will wrap around, this here is the family room. It will wrap on into the dining room and then as well into the kitchen, back into the living room, and then you can work your way back around here. There is a half bath right here off to the side. We'll get to it in a moment. Take a look at these absolutely gorgeous parquet floors here. Stunning. Absolutely love parquet floors. Now, looking here in the family room, you do notice that you do have the wood trim, crown mold running all the way across the top here. It does have the two windows letting in plenty of light. Massive room here for sure. Now, we're going to start walking the circular floor plan here downstairs. We're going to make our way into what is the formal dining room here. Do you see that it does have a nice ceiling fan? Great view into the private backyard. Plenty enough space in this room to put in a full-size table, china hutch if you wish. 
and probably some additional uh, additional features if you wanted to. It's, it's a very nice sized room. Now we're going to walk into the kitchen. Again, we do have the parquet floor here as well, and you can see they run all the way into the living room right by the wood burning insert. Plenty of cabinet space, a little wine storage above. The seller is willing to negotiate the appliances. As you can see here. Now you do have the window that takes you, looks right out back over your own private deck as well as the backyard. Very private backyard as you've already seen. And this is going to walk us into the living room. We'll turn around and get a look at the kitchen again from the opposite side here in a moment. You do have the double doors. It's going to lead us right out to the back deck. Work our way around. These floors are just absolutely amazing. And we also have the same crown mold here. We do have some recessed cam lighting right above the fireplace for some extra accents. And we've got a couple doors you're going to come into view here. First one here, this is going to take you out to the garage. Second door here is going to take you down to the basement. Third door back in the distance is to the half bath I told you about. And then we do have a small little pantry door right here. Now the way this is built is very much an open floor plan flowing from the kitchen into the living room to the point that you actually have enough space to put a little dining table here if you wanted to. So you really kind of have an eat-in kitchen feel as well as the formal dining area off to the side. So you could have both, formal dining as well as an eat-in kitchen. Plenty of space to do so. Now we're going to walk back in here towards the kitchen a little bit just to get you one last better view of the kitchen here. You can see here, it's a nice sized galley kitchen. Plenty enough space for two people to work in here at the same time if needed. Enough cabinetry space to store everything needed. Okay, we're going to work our way out to the garage real quick and take a look at it. Now this is a two car full size garage. Very, very tall ceilings as you can see here. So you could add additional storage shelves here if you wanted to and give you that extra storage space needed that most people like in a garage. You see here it's extra deep. Two SUVs could fit in here easily, no problems. Do you see the garage floor is still in great shape, no cracking. Garage doors, great condition. Both doors do have openers. Back our way out of here and we're going to take a look at this half bath down here. Again, this half bath does have the parquet floors as well. Exactly what you would expect out of a half bathroom door. All right, we're gonna make our way upstairs, take a look at the four bedrooms, two baths that are up here. I'm gonna meet you at the top. Okay, we've made it to the top of the steps here. As soon as you walk up the steps, you can go right. Going right, you do have a linen closet right here, just off to the, to the right across from the full bath, guest bath. We've got one bedroom here, second bedroom there, and the third bedroom is just around the corner. And then I am standing in the master suite, so let me back up. And here is the master suite. We're gonna take a look at it first. Massive bedroom here. Thing's absolutely huge. As you can see as I'm panning around here, extremely long bedroom. You've got plenty of space to put a king size bed, dresser, two dressers if you wanted to, end tables, TV, and probably still enough space to set up a little sitting area here if you wanted to. So it is a massive bedroom for sure, especially in a four bedroom home. A lot of these four bedroom homes, you have to sacrifice in the master suite and this is not what you're doing here. Master suite is absolutely amazing. Does have the double sink, plus the little vanity space. Also has a full walk-in closet. Exactly what you'd expect from a master suite is the double sink and the walk-in closet. Now let me shut the bedroom door here real quick. And it's gonna take us into the rest of the bathroom facilities. You see here we do have a linen closet, full-size stand-up shower, and commode in its separate walled off room. And so an absolutely stunning master, master suite as far as the size goes. You've got the double sink, the vanity, as well as a large room. Now one unique option that I really like about this master suite, and this really applies if you have small ones, is this room will connect into the room right next to it. So we're going to look at bedroom number two here. Now this would be a good setup for a nursery for sure. 
Um, I know how it is when you have the little ones, you always want them as close as you can, but sometimes not in the same room. And this offers you that ability to where you can put them in the room right next to you and just walk right through to bedroom number two if you want to and check on the little ones. This one here has a very kid friendly ceiling fan. Nice size bedroom here as well. Now we're gonna kinda of work our way backwards versus what we seen walking up the steps since we're coming out of the little bedroom. Here's bedroom number three. Very nice size bedroom as well. Now like I was saying, typically in these four bedroom units, one of the bedrooms sacrifices and it's usually either the master bedroom that's extremely small or one of the other three bedrooms that are extremely small. And in this house, that is not the case. All four bedrooms have nice size closets, lots of space inside of them. And we're gonna work our way into the fourth bedroom here. And again, as you can see, another very nice sized bedroom. Plenty of space in each and every one of these. Ceiling fan in here. We talked about the solid wood six panel doors. And back to the hallway, and then this is where we came up right here, because right here is our guest bath. Now this also has a double sink. As you can see, the cabinetry is in good shape. Backsplash, tile work on the tub is in great shape as well. Large mirror, huge guest bathroom. Does have a laundry chute system as you see. All right, I'm gonna meet you down in the basement. We're gonna take a quick tour of the basement. Okay, we've made our way down through the basement door, down the basement steps, just off of the living room. As you can see here, you've got a very nice sized basement. Now it does have the full eight foot tall ceiling, so these can be finished out and give it that six or seven, I'm sorry, my apologies, give it that seven foot tall feeling when it's done. As you can see, it's already insulated. Updated electric service. Plenty of space down here. Furnace. Right here's where your washer and dryer currently go. Like I said, it's set up to be finished out. It just needs someone to come in here and put the final touches on it. And then right here's additional storage space in the form of a crawl space. It's not absolutely massive, but it's tall enough to where you can easily climb up there, store stuff, and not have to worry about smacking your head every time you're in and out of there. All right, we've taken a look at the basement. Let's meet back up in the living room for some final remarks. Okay, we've made our way back up into the living room. Again, my name is Sean Bergman, Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate and the Murray Group Biz. If you have any questions about this home, please feel free to give me a call at 937-286-8772. Again, 937-286-8772. I can also be reached by email at buywithsean at yahoo.com. That's B-U-Y. W-I-T-H-S-E-A-N at yahoo.com. Thanks and have a great day.